an overhead vent. <laughs> Sounds like a story to me. Guy walks into an elevator with a girl in her underwear and a referee dressed up like Janet Jackson from the early 90s. Let's let's think more Beetlejuice rather than oh, okay. Okay. referee. All I'll right. take that. All right. Well, the whole outfit, the whole thing is okay. very Beetlejuice. All right, I got it. So, got that going for us already. So how can this possibly be a bad video? Because what we're doing today is we're going to be filming a big silhouette shot in this here window. A lot of times people try to do silhouette shots yeah. and they do them wrong. They do them I'm not right. And I'm going to show you the easiest, quickest way to make it happen with the simplest setup that we possibly can. First, you need a 30,000 square foot studio and you need to go all the way up to the third floor of that studio. So you're looking out over your medium sized city and all your, the buildings are a little bit lower than yours, of course. You've got to get mm -hmm. that first. And then you have to have at least an eight foot window in order to do this right because other windows don't work. And it should be old and industrial looking. So when you put the model in it, it looks like she stepped back in time, right? Go show them. Stand in that window. Cut. Our wonderful model, Emily, in the window today. Now, automatically the way you first look at this, when you first see this, I'm silhouetted and she's silhouetted because the camera's on auto and it's trying to see everything, but of course it's not seeing everything. While we're here, let me also introduce the wonderfully mm -hmm. person. talented, incredibly <laughs> beautiful, and absolutely perfect Julia Ashley, who's going to help me pose Emily and make everything work just right. Because the very first thing you have to think about when you're doing silhouette poses is they have to be very dramatic. Everything has to be placed just right because you're not dealing with expression, you're not dealing with anything that models usually rely on. You're creating a black image and it has to show some sort of shot to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to pose her. First of all, I, I liked what you just did. We're going to do that again. I want you to bring your feet together, one in front of the other, and hang one off the step, just like that. Your hands are right here, and you're dropping your head way back. Now I want you to move her over just a little tiny bit so she's centered. A little too far, too far. Okay. Right there. Now she's centered. You should be able to hit, hit your head back and get it right on the square. And if we put that foot right in front of the other foot, Then we're creating a solid line. I'm going to move your foot. Here I go. Now, it's right in front of the other foot. Right there, one solid line straight down. Now I'm gonna find my spot, and I'm gonna do a test shot. Now, here's my test shot. Come here and look. And we'll blow this up when we actually get to the video. There's my test shot, and unfortunately, it it's pretty out. damn close. Get it right there not focusing. You're too close. That's okay, because all I'm trying to do is get it into the camera and then I'll okay. put the other shot on top of it right here. Right. Now, unfortunately this test shot is too damn close to perfect because I didn't even look at my settings, <laughs> but my settings were just about right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fuck them all up <laughs> and do another test shot because that will help to prove my point a little bit better. You just stay put here, I'm just getting my light. Now, here's my second test shot. Click, and there it is on the screen. Now, my second test shot is obviously way too bright, way too overexposed. I screwed everything all up, and you completely lost the whole point of what I was trying to do. So that's my first test shot. Now, I'm going to take it back to where it's right with two more test shots. I'm going to bring my shutter speed way up and my f-stop way up. Not way up from 1.8 to 3.5 to now 4. My shutter speed's at 250. My ISO is at 125, and I'm shooting with the Nikon D610. So there you go, now I know. <laughs> and, and I have a 50 millimeter 1.8 on the camera. Now I'm gonna do a second test shot. Point M. All right, and here, it, in here is my second test shot. Still think it's a little bit too light and here is the most important thing that I want you to remember about silhouettes you're not exposing 
for the model. You're exposing for the window. You're exposing for what you want that window to look like in your shot. If I was shooting for the model's face, my exposures would be very, very different. I would be way lower and the window would be much more blasted out. But I'm shooting for a silhouette, which means I want the model to be dark in the window. So my exposure is going to be for the background, not for the model. So let's try it again. My exposure there was 1 250th of a second at f4. I'm going to now raise my exposure up to 1 500th of a second and keep it at f4 because that's a good f-stop for what I'm doing. Now I'm going to shoot her again. And this is that test shot. Still a little bit too light. I'm going to go up with my f-stop to f5 and up with my shutter speed to 1 640th of a second. And shoot it again. And there. is my exposure. Now I've got my light. Now I know what I'm working with. I don't particularly like the pose. I want you to turn around. I want you to bring your hands shoulder length apart. Whoa, that was your face. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> don't walk into my camera and I won't. Well, you weren't holding it out until I walked forward. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. All right, let's try this again. Hands shoulder length apart. Feet shoulder width apart. Good. Now come up on your toes really high. Good. And push your hip way off to the left like that. Turn your chin to the left and down. Good. And then my phone rings. Here you go, Ash. <laughs> it's got to be a telemarketer. All right. Getting my sure. positioning, making sure. Uh, yes, he is. He's in the middle of something. Can I get a message? <laughs> Just making sure. I can talk to them. Hold on. That my exposure looks pretty good. Now, the dress is very pretty, but it's not showing through enough. Sorry, Who was that? I hope you're not mad that I just hung up on the police that wanted money. The police that wanted money. Yeah, the donation. We always support our local police I departments. I know, but we And we can't always right support now. the police in general. I heart cops. <laughs> All right, now, back to what I was doing. What I want you to do is I want you to bring your hands down and I want you to pull the dress up to about mid thigh. Now, see, just that texture I really love. Shoot the girl, Adam. Just that texture, push your hip way out to the side here. Just like that. That texture is really beautiful. So, because I like that, I'm gonna get one of that really quick. Just that. Lower. I'm changing my exposure because I'm now exposing for the model, not the background. So I'm changing the shot midway through. And I'll put that shot right up on the screen in a second. But now I'm going to bring my exposure back to where I had it because I really like where Emily is right now. Just like that. Emmy, I want you to come up on both your toes and kick your hip out to the side. Ash is going to adjust and make sure everything's perfect. I'm going to take a picture of Ashley to test my light. And that is pretty close. Perfect. Beautiful. Thank you. I don't know where Adam is. I'm right here. And that is our perfect window silhouette. Now, once you have, once you have this, the light worked out. Once you know your exposure. Once you have your setting, you know your spot to stand to make sure everything is straight. Then it's just a matter of changing the poses around and seeing which can do with it. Let's do one more, just a little more artsy, okay? I want you to turn straight across. Like, no, no side, side. Side like this? <laughs> nope. Come all the way around. We're dancing now. <laughs> turn to the side. Give me a side profile. There gotcha. we go. Now bring one foot way forward, like that. I want you to bring one hand here and the other hand way back. Like, lean into it like this. Like that. Good. Look straight down at your foot. You okay? Yes. Like that. 
and then bring just bring your chin way down like you're looking way down at you like that right there that's the shot here that's beautiful don't move anything all right remember that pose i'm going to change lenses to my 85 millimeter because i kind of think that 50 is going to distort the edges just a little bit and i really like this one now because I've been playing with my exposure the whole time, the exposure that I'm now shooting at is one two hundredth of a second at f5. And I'm going to do one more test shot just to make sure that that test looks about where I want it to be. Because with this pose, I'm going to change up the, uh, the light so I can see through the dress just a little bit more to get that full figure. All right, come back down into the pose. Now, Ash, what I want you to do... Oh, you know what? I'm seeing this. I want you to take the edge of her dress and bring it up to this hand. Like bring it way, yeah, there we go. Now, kind of scoot back, like push your butt way back into it, and then bring your head way down. All right, dear, I want you to push back even more, 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 lower, 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 chin to me, chin down, way down, head way down, stop. Don't move. That's beautiful. Come here. Great. Look at oh, that's cool. Isn't I that like beautiful? that one. That's really cool. Yeah, that's really pretty. Go, Cash. Oh, yeah, I like that. Right? Yeah. That was worth it. All right, guys. Here's the finished shot. Now what I did, I did, what, like three, four different poses, a little bit of a change up, all playing with the light, all getting used to the light, all making sure I know exactly what I want it to look at when it's done. And then it's just a matter of finding just the right pose. And I started out really easy because it's a different kind of thing. She's standing on a window ledge. You know, she's supporting herself side to side. I wanted to make sure that, you know, she was comfortable as we were building up to the finished pose. That finished pose ended up being very different from where we started, but it was still working with the exact same principles when it comes to the light. The light didn't vary. The light didn't change. I was changing my exposure to get it to look the way that I want it to look. This is a tool. You use it as a tool. It's a paintbrush. It lets you see the things that you want to see. And when you're shooting, you're controlling it. Make sure that it looks the way that you want it to look. The most important thing about shooting digital is being able to look at this and say, I got it right or I fucked it up. And if you fucked it up, fix it. Change the exposures. Get it to look the way that you want it to do. Because ultimately, when you know what you want it to look like, you're right. And if you like something... <laughs> If you like something, then you got it right. You're shooting for yourself first, and it's very important that you like what you're doing. If everybody else likes it after that, that's great, man. That's wonderful. But you have to like it first, and you're in control of it. Anyway, that's it. Thanks, M. Thanks, Ash. Thanks, Adam, for doing an outstanding job.